This is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321 and in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at some pins with metal grip sections. Now I know that feature is a deal breaker for some people but in my case it really depends on the type of metal finish and how I intend to use the pin. So I'm going to start off with my Twisby Mini. It has a an aluminum anodized grip section and I have found for me that it is somewhat slippery. It's got a satiny type finish. I have found for me that it's a short-ish type of grip section so I don't have trouble with it sliding up and down. My trouble is it rotating as I write and so I'm constantly if I'm writing for a lengthy amount of time I'm constantly readjusting my grip and it is tiring. Um, I've said before that if I had it to do over I would probably get one of the Twisby Minis. The I think it's called the Classic I'm not sure, but it has the met, the plastic grip section. But the more I think about it, I'm not sure because what I use this pen for mostly is grading papers. And I have found that for short little bursts, you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's not an issue. So if my recommendation would be if you think that a slippery section would be a, a problem, go with the one with the plastic grip section. If you're going to use it for short little bursts of writing, the, the aluminum grip section is attractive. They come in, you know, various colors and it's, it's a nice looking pen. The next pen I have is the Lamy Studio. It is quite infamous for its metal grip section. There's one model that has either a plastic or a rubberized black grip section that I've heard good things about, but um, most of the Lamy Studios have, I think it's a chrome grip section. The one I have this palladium colored finish, um, the grip section is the same. So I thought that might help with the slipperiness, but it, it has the same feeling as the Twisby Mini. It is somewhat slippery and the convex shape doesn't help matters. And so I found this isn't terrible but I have enough pins in my collection that have grip sections that I l enjoy using more that I just don't use this pen very often and I really love this gold nib. So I think if I had it to do over with this one, if I still really wanted to get the Lamy Studio, I would get the one with the rubberized or plastic grip section because I just don't use this pen as much as I thought I would. And the issue with it is the sliding up and down and the rotating. Now another Lamy pen with a metal grip section is the Lamy logo. And the one I have here, this the logo comes in various finishes also, but the one I have here has a pearl lacquer finish. And the grip section is the same. I guess it's an aluminum grip section, but it has that lacquer on it. It has um, these ridges that help with I don't have a problem with it sliding up and down and that lacquer has a grippiness to it that I've just never had any issues with this being slippery. Um, I don't even think of it. I, it doesn't even cross my mind as, oh, this is a, a metal section. It's a very enjoyable pen to use and what I'm planning on doing when I get done with this video, I'm going to switch nibs in these two pens. I don't use this pen as much as I thought I would either. You know, I, to me the, the Lamy stainless steel nibs are, they're okay, but 
nothing that I get excited about, but since I do love that Lamy Gold Nib, I'm going to switch them out. Um, next, this is a pen that I borrowed from my sister. She has kind of gotten into fountain pens in recent years, but she gets her pens from our local um, office supply store. She has several cross pens. This is the Aventura. You see it has the same shape section as the Lamy Studio, and it's chrome. This is the most slippery section I have ever used in my life. Um, she let me borrow this one time. It doesn't have ink in it right now, and I inked it up. I really do not like writing for this for any length of time at all. A quick note, uh, a shopping list, that would be the most I would ever use this for. Uh, she has a she has a few of these. She's got a blue one that she uses quite a bit, and I don't know. It may not be an issue for her. She started to get she started to add to her collection. I think this was one of the first fountain pens she ever used, so she may just not have known any better. And as she has started using, I think she has a, a Faber-Castell grip that she really enjoys. Maybe um, she's started using this less, but I am not fond of chrome grip sections, and especially this shape. Next, uh, talking about the shape of the grip section, I've got an aluminum Caveco Lily Put. I'm not sure what kind of finish this is. I don't know if this is considered anodized, but this is aluminum. But it has a nice hourglass grip section. The grip section is a little on the small side, but I I love hourglass shape grip sections. And it also has some threads right here that I find also help. Um, my grip doesn't tend to slide up and down and I'm, I don't really have any issues with the section on this one. So the shape of the grip section can have a big um, impact on how comfortable it is to use. Next, I was on a waiting list forever for this little Conklin mini graph. I love the material that it's made out of. It's a tortoise shell with little splotches of purple in it. Um, the grip section is that infamous chrome plated grip section. And I just, I don't use this pen very much because of that. I would. The, it's long enough that I can't really choke up and hold it up here on the resin and it is just very slippery and not very comfortable to use. Uh, when I do use it, it is for just little short bursts of writing. I don't, I can't use this for journaling or uh, any lengthy amount of writing. Now another pocket pen that has a very similar grip section, I don't think these are made anymore, but I, I still see them occasionally on Amazon. You may still be able to pick one up. A nice little pocket pen, the Monteverde Paquito. Now it has the same chrome plated grip section, but it's short enough that when I use it, I tend to choke up. Now, I also don't use this pen very often, but it's not because of the grip section, it's because it's a it's a fairly wide medium nib, and I'm more of a, a fine nib person, but the, the entire pen is metal. I really wish the grip section was made or had the same finish on it as the rest of the pen because the body of the pen, the finish is kind of grippy. And chrome is just too slippery for me. But other than that, it's a cool little pocket pen. A pen, another pen that I just, you know, I love the design of this pen, the uh, Auto Tache. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's just a cool looking little pen. I love when 
a pocket pins post to make a full size pin. But this, I think this is a raw aluminum. It's got a satin finish to it. This is just so slippery. Um, I don't use it very often. Sometimes I use it for paper grading at school, but I don't really use it for journaling or note taking. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's a cool little pen other than the slippery crib section. And this has a, a long cylindrical, so I, I do have trouble with it sliding up and down. Uh, next is a pen that, this is the first fountain pen that my sister bought for me when I first got into fountain pens. She got this for me as a Christmas gift. Now, this is not a, I'm not sure what this would be considered. I don't know if this is actual gold plating on this section, but it's not as slippery as chrome. It does have some grippiness to it, and I don't have any issues with it. So, I don't, I don't know if a chrome, pla or a, a gold plated grip section would have a different amount of grippiness than chrome, but it seems that way just judging from this pen. I, I do like using this pen. Now next is the Faber-Castell Ambition. This is another infamous pen that people uh, either love it or hate it, it seems. It does have a chrome section, but I wouldn't call this a grip section. I don't think it is intended for you to hold it down here to write. I do hold it like this, and I enjoy using this pen. It's comfortable to write with for me. So the metal section is a non-issue because I don't hold it there. And an honorable mention, not really a fountain pen or not at all a fountain pen, is my Machine Era Markup. Um, this is, it comes with a Schmidt fine liner, which actually isn't very fine. It's a pretty broad fine liner tip. And it also comes with a Pilot G2 gel refill. This is my favorite pen to use. This is my favorite gel pen. I use it with the G2 refill. And it is a, this is a stainless steel pen with a black DLC or diamond like coating. And it has that satiny feel similar to the Lamy Studio. Let me see, yeah. And it's got kind of a satiny feel like the Twisby Mini, but I don't know if it's just the size of it with it being smaller and the way that I hold it. I have no issues. Well, now listen to it. It may be that coating. It has some grippiness to it, unlike these two are just perfectly smooth. There's no, I don't get a grip on it. And it helps that the threads are right here. That's helps with the grip. Um, so maybe DLC coating is grippier than just anodized aluminum. But hopefully this will give you an idea of how different metal finishes behave in the hand and can help you decide if a particular pen is something you may or may not be interested in. And if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.